What's up guys, Country Boy Dipper back it again for y'all doing another video for y'all today. Today I'm doing a dip review of Grizzly Dark Man. I've had this for a little while now, I haven't really gotten a chance to do a dip review for you guys. And I know a lot of you guys are Grizzly Dippers out there and you know, kind of like the mint. Um, so that being said, I'll throw a pinch in real quick and get this review going for you guys. I find that Grizzly, I mean, I'm I'm a Copenhagen Mint Dipper. It's my new everyday dip. Um, but I find that Grizzly kind of, the flavor lasts a little bit longer. In, in the mints, I find the flavor lasts a little bit longer and kind of holds together a little bit better. Um, uh, first off, first taste, um... Mint, you you can't you get the, the mint taste is there. Um, it's really, it's more of a stronger mint taste to it to me. I can really taste the mint in this. Um, a little darker, the tobacco taste is still there. Which is one thing I like about Grizzly is they make sure they keep the tobacco taste in their dips. Like Copenhagen, you don't really taste the tobacco when you dip in like when I dip my Copenhagen mint, I don't really taste the tobacco in it. All you really taste is mint. Which don't get me wrong, that's one of the things I like about Copenhagen. But the number one thing that I like about dip is being able to taste the tobacco taste in the dip. Like I don't want to just be tasting, you know, like Copenhagen mint kinda of tastes like toothpaste. I don't wanna be just tasting toothpaste. I wanna be tasting the I I wanna be able to taste the dip in there and I wanna have all the flavors of dip and mint at once. And that's one thing I did notice about Grizzly Dark Mint is the dip, the tobacco, and mint is there. Uh, I kind of really like these tins, though. The, the, I really like the dark blue around the edges. I really like the Grizzly Dark Mint tins. Um, maybe Copenhagen should come out with the Dark Mint, or maybe they should make a new dip. Uh, make something, you know... Something out of the ordinary, like Grizzly, when they did their Grizzly Dark Select. I'm going to have a dip review up for that um, soon for you guys. Um, but when they did the Grizzly Dark Select, it was, it was something new. And I found out that Grizzly Dark Select kind of tastes like a straight and natural kind of mixed together. Really tobacco taste, really, really good dip. Flavors were there. Everything was there about it. Um, but I find... But, like, I did, I've done a dip review of Copenhagen Southern Blend. And I really liked Copenhagen Southern Blend. I mean, it wasn't the best dip I've had. But it also wasn't the worst dip I had. The worst dip I had, well, have had, I'd have to say would be Skullberry. Um, Skullberry is probably the worst dip to ever have. It tastes like Robitussin. I call it the Robitussin dip. It is the worst dip out there by far. And talking about the worst dips out there, um, I'm gonna do an opinion on you guys. I'll give you guys my opinion on the top five best dips, top five worst dips. Um, coming in at number one, um, Copenhagen Man. Uh, number two has to be Grizzly Dark Man. Um, number three is kind of a toss up between Copenhagen Wintergreen and Grizzly Wintergreen. So I'd, I'd have to give it to Grizzly Wintergreen because the tobacco taste is still there. And it's not as sweet as Copenhagen. Number four would have to be Copenhagen Wintergreen. And number five, I'd have to say, would be Kodiak Wintergreen. I like Kodiak. I don't buy it as much because it is a little bit more expensive. I kind of stick to my Grizzly, my Copenhagen, the two dips that I really stick to. And then the five worst dips out there. Number one is Skullberry. By far the worst dip by far out there that I have had. Um, then number two has to be Skull Cherry. Skull Cherry is just gross in general. And I mean, it, it, it's it's an okay dip, but it's just it's way the cherry strong. It is way too strong with the cherry flavor. And I like cherries, but it's just way too strong. Uh, number three would have to be anything kayak related. Kayak is in general the worst dip to ever buy. It is cheap, comes in a cheap, cheap plastic can tin. 
I wouldn't even call it a tin. It's a little cheap plastic, a little container that it does not pack well, does not even taste good. I mean, I've had kayak peach taste like shit. It doesn't even taste like, it doesn't even taste like peach. Um, but kayak, it's just, there's really no flavors there. There isn't, it's just, there is really nothing there in kayak. It's just really cheap, gross, the worst dip ever. Um, number four, I would have to say, would be Grizzly Natural. I'm not, I don't really like it. Um, another, number four, actually, instead of Grizzly uh, Natural, I would actually probably have to say it would be Stoker's. Stoker's is an is okay, but it is not up there in the top five best dips, and it's kind of not really one of the worst dip. Uh, number five would have to be Longhorn, as I call it. I call it Shithorn. Longhorn is a cheap dip. Very, it's, like, there's really nothing there. Um, get all that, there really isn't anything there. Um, but... I'm hoping to get some more dip reviews up for you guys. Uh, if you guys want me to try a dip, do a dip review on my channel. Put a comment below. I'll put my address in there so you can send it to me. And I'll do a dip review of it as soon as I get it. I'll do a review of it. I'll open up the package right on YouTube, right on the channel so you guys can see that I haven't already tried it. Um, another one I really want to get out there, that I want, one of the ones I really want to try, is the Outlaw Dip. I haven't got a chance to actually... Try it, and haven't gotten any yet. I want to try the uh, the badass bourbon or wild watermelon. I heard they're really good. Lucky Lipper, I've heard it's okay. I've heard it tastes, kind of tastes like a Mountain Dew, and I drink enough Mountain Dew, so I kind of have to get one to give that one a try. But you can't really find it up here. Um, but that being said, I'm trying to get uh, some more videos up for you guys, kind of a variety of videos, not only dip videos, maybe some off-roading videos coming up. I want to get some more variety of videos up for you guys. And if you guys can show my channel some love, like and subscribe. And if you guys subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to your channel. Kind of like some of your videos, leave some comments, kind of leave like my opinion on what I think. Um, and I want to get some more giveaways up. Like I said in one of my previous videos, the light bar giveaway is still going on. And for Christmas, if... I'm going to pick a uh, person out of a hat, and I got a couple uh, different giveaways I'm going to do for Christmas. One's a gift card, one's a log of dip, a log of your choice, uh, and then a couple others that it's going to be like a little gift basket. It's going to be kind of uh, like a mystery, so you don't really mean it's going to have some dip stuff in it, maybe a mug jug, you know, maybe some off-road stuff, you know. It's, it's going to be more or less a mystery box. It's going to be... Around about $200. Um, and I want to get that giveaway up for you guys. It's going to be a great giveaway. And I'm trying to get up there and get some more subscribers. Get up there. The more subscribers you guys can help me. I can help you guys out with some giveaways and more videos. The more popular my channel gets, the more videos I'll have for you guys. And I'm going to try to get daily videos out for you guys. If I can't get a daily video out, I'm going to try to get it every couple days out for you guys. Because I'm very busy with work. And my life, I get very busy. So getting videos out for you guys is a little tough right now every day. But I'm going to try to get it every day for you guys. Um, but don't ever forget to like and subscribe my channel. If you want to give me a sh if you want me to give you a shout out, leave a comment below. I'll give you a shout out. Um, and that being said... Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment, anything you want to see, 